Aloha gang, today we're going to do index separations quick and easy for screen printing using the quick seps plugin for Photoshop. You can be in uh, any version of Photoshop. Probably you don't want to probably go too much lower than CS3, but I'm in CS5. I have my layers and my channels. Um, can't see those underneath windows, you have channels layers is there I'm gonna need to load quick steps so go to window actions this little menu in the top right load action oops wrong button load actions and find your quick steps folder and you'll have this quick steps professional in there now if you can't see it like this it might look like this or like this just go to button mode up here and make sure that you go to your color settings edit color settings make sure quick steps custom color is loaded it might look like this the default for photoshop just go to load find your quick steps folder again and load quick steps custom color and click ok ok i'm opening an image here We'll go with the cat's band. Now you can either discard the embedded profile or convert. Either one doesn't matter. Okay, there's our image. Now what we want to do is size this up and set the resolution. So I'm going to go to image, image size, change it to inches. I want this to be 11 inches to print. Now depend want to use about 200 for a resolution depending on your uh, screens if you can hold a higher res resolution if you think but uh, 200 is a good place to start and you can leave this alone or change it I'm gonna change it since I reduced the image a little bit and go best for reduction okay and I'm gonna zoom out with control minus fit him in the screen and I'm going to pull my channels layer or channels window out here so I can see everything that Quick Steps is going to do, give me. So for index separation, these print out pretty well for the most part. And this image has a lot of crazy colors and blobs of things going on. Now, if you want to enhance your image, you have to do so before the separations because once the index is complete you cannot adjust any colors so in this particular image we're getting a lot of black on the press and we want to tone that down so first thing I'll do in quick steps is a quick image fix that's we'll pop these colors out some more make it a little more vibrant more browns and since we're only printing on a six color press we're gonna need this uh, color to pop as much as we can because these are separations are meant for an 8 to 10 to 12 color press but they look great running on a 6 color press as well as long as you get your image right you might have to mess with them a little bit I'm going to brighten this image one time and I'm going to do one more quick image fix now see how much brighter everything is so now when I go to print it won't be as uh, black and <clears throat> it's hard to get a lot of these brown shades with uh, with it being the, with the contrast uh, too dark so now we've brightened everything up enough and we're going to name the layer it needs to be named the layer zero and it's named by default layer zero when you double click on that text and one window open <clears throat> we're ready to go so scroll down in quick steps <clears throat> now you can choose eight colors seven six whatever you choose but each one of these is going to give you set say seven main colors and it's also going to give you a white underbase with each one of these so you're going to add one color to each one so if I do a five color plus a white underbase that's going to be my six colors so since we have a six color press that's what I'm going to do I'm going to do the five color auto index go if you think you want to mess with um, checking out what other colors you can get if you can add a couple or delete some you can try the eight but I go with the five and and see what happens so go ahead and click under index separations the five color auto index go 
and it's important that you set your image resolution when we went to image resize um, to 200. You can try 300 if um, you, your screens can handle that well. But I stick with 200 for an index separation. Continue, continue. And now you're just going to make sure that your image resolution is the same as your output and that diffusion dither is selected, which it is. This is the input that we added when we did the image size. And so it automatically recognizes that and that selects. So this will pop up a couple times. Just keep hitting OK. Make sure those are the same. They usually will be as long as you set up your file right to begin with. And there we are. So I'm going to get rid of the highlight whites. And this is what we're left with. We have our black shirt, white underbase, yellow, blue, blue, red, black. So we have three, six colors and the shirt background. Now you can see what the index separations do. Just break everything into these little pixels. So you don't really need a rip printer to print these. You can print these right on by most any printer printer and uh, that's about it we're done ready to print um, since we did all the color adjusting prior to the separation and um, if you're not happy with with the way things look you can start all over from scratch and try a eight color and see if you might be able to subtract or add a extra color that an eight color might give you but usually for a six color press five is is the only way to go if you want to run less colors try four and you'll end up with five colors uh, if you're doing a white underbase if you're not doing a white underbase you can go ahead and if you're on a six color press do the six color and then uh, you'll get an extra option maybe make things a little better but this is going to print really well it'll look more i'm zoomed in but it'll look more like that like like it's supposed to look and it looks um, damn near close to the original artwork. So I'm just going to delete the channels I don't need, which is the shirt background, because I don't want to print that. Or you can just uncheck the eyeball. Whatever eyeball is selected is what we'll be printing. Um, so I just like to clean things up a bit, and that way it's less confusing, and I know exactly what I'm printing here now. So we'll go to File, Print, Uncheck Center Image if you want to position this to save yourself a little film or resize your uh, your print size. Mine right now is 13 by 19 which is fine because that's my film size and we can cut this bit off and use it later. Um, I don't have a, a rip printer installed such as the Epson Artisan 1430 which is a common printer so I'm just gonna print this to a PDF file but you'll be printing it to your printer your rip through your rip software if you have that uh, so I check labels so it shows me the color make sure that's in view so I can see what it's gonna name so I know what color is coming out and I put my crop marks um, for registration that's all you have to do under this output so pick your printer here, change your print settings, your film size, and make sure this image is within the boundaries of this your your print size here. And that's it. Go to, to color management and make sure that separations is checked. If it's grayed out, you did something wrong. Watch the tutorial and start over. And that's all. We're gonna print this, and we are done. Hopefully it'll print my PDF. I got a couple things printing here. Um, for some reason, this has been taking a while to print. Sometimes when I hit cancel, it works for some reason. Let's try it. Hit cancel. No, I don't want to cancel it. Well, it's 32 megabytes. So there it goes. It, it's going to take some time. All right, it's done. And let's check it out. So you're going to be printing straight to your printer and you'll be shooting out film by now and 
we will see what's happening here. And this is what will come out for you. You'll see that the index gives you those nice bits of pixels that you're going to print. And that's the index, that's what it does. And it, it comes out fairly well on these multicolor jobs. So give it a try. If you don't like the way it looks, then you might want to go for a uh, simulated process separation, which uh, for this image, I thought that the index came out better. So that's it. And your film's going to come out like this with the name and the crop marks. Yellow, blue. So we got all the all the eyeballs that were selected is what's printing. If you just want to do one at a time, if you're not by your printer to continually load the film in, or if you don't have a continuous roll of film, just do one at a time. And start with whatever you want. Hit print. Select the next die, and you'll be good to go. All right, that'll be all. Thanks for watching. Uh, happy printing. Aloha.